Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and I'm Mama Loves UGB here on FlossTube and welcome along to December the 13th of my Flossmas Advent. We are more than halfway through the Advent, which I can't believe. Uh, I'm filming this as usual on December the 12th, so the day before, um, and I miss my usual filming slot. Uh, usually I would film sort of early evening, but my partner was away running in Mid Wales, trail running, and he didn't get back until a bit later, so this is actually sort of nearly... Um, half past nine, ten o'clock at night. I, I did consider just wearing my pyjamas to be perfectly honest, um, but no, I didn't. So uh, here I am. I've had a, a lovely day today. Well, sort of a lovely day. I had a lovely day with my daughter. Um, we made some some of these, some little um, cookies, which are the ones which have got the the stained glass in the middle. So you just get. Um, uh, boiled sweets and melt them in the middle and when they've got a light behind them there and they hang on the tree they're really really nice so we made some of those today and uh, I've had another accident yeah same finger so uh, my daughter says she needed the loo so you know what it's like when a four-year-old says they need the loo they've normally left it too late so I ran up the stairs and I tripped over up the stairs and I bent my finger and I don't know whether you can you can see you probably can't see too well but right in there is all starting to go a nice a nice black colour. And I didn't bend it backwards, I actually bent it forward so that it was really, really against my the palm of my hand and it was so painful. Um, where I'm from actually in the Cotswolds, we've got a fantastic phrase for that sort of pain. And if you'll permit me a small uh, minor swear word, I will tell you what it is. So if we um, get that type of pain, the phrase that we use is uh, you say, oh, I could have pissed up a chimney. And it's basically, it's exactly right. It's that phrase where the pain has gripped your undercarriage so much that you could have actually urinated vertically. Oh, I was, was so, Ness came running along. Are you okay, mama? Are you okay, mama? And um, yeah, it <laughs> really, really hurt. I quite expected to look down and see a dislocated finger. So that is the same finger as the one that I, cut with the steak knife cutting cheese the other day so um, give it a couple of days you know these things come in threes you'll probably see me and I'll have to rename my channel as the nine fingered stitcher or something I'll have actually lost the, the damn thing anyway I have got the usual for you today plus I've also got a little bit of haul which is completely down to Debbie from Creatively Yours if I hadn't watched her floss tube this morning I wouldn't have had any haul at all so I will show you that later on um, I am going to start with a couple of previous finishes. Um, I suddenly thought my plans or our plans are to go and stay with my mum um, over Christmas and to go a few days before Christmas when we're allowed to go. Um, because my mum lives on her own, the rules with going to support, um, I, I nearly said elderly, she'd be on the phone to me and kill me, but because she's over 70, um, the rules about going to support um, the over 70s who live on their own um, and to form a bubble is slightly different so anyway short story long so we were hoping to go and see her a few days before Christmas so I suddenly thought to myself well I better show you the stuff that I've got in frames because I won't want to take that I can take some smalls to show you but I won't want to take my framed stuff so um, again both of these have been shown before but I've got so many new followers that um, I hope you will um, indulge me so the first one was, I can't hold my finger like that, <laughs> was a witchy stitcher one, um, which is Save Halloween. Uh, now this one, for some reason, was on her Etsy store for a couple of days and then disappeared, but it is on her uh, Facebook page, not Facebook, her own website, thewitchystitcher.com, so I will, um, I'll link that one below. And it's just on a piece of 28 count uh, fabric that I hand dyed myself using similar-ish colours and then I added the 2020. So we know that we didn't manage to save Halloween, well certainly in Wales we didn't manage to save Halloween but I still really like this um, this piece. It's framed, I framed this one myself using a painted frame that I got from a charity shop or should I say that the other way around, a frame that I got from a charity shop that I painted. Um, because uh, as much as I would love to frame all my pieces and I do actually have two pieces in at the framers at the moment Mary Clayton and Santa's trips which I hope to show you um, pretty soon uh, I, just, we just, I just can't afford to frame everything I can't um, and so this 
makes an excellent um, alternative. Charity shop frames, there's so many lovely frames and things in charity shops, so get out there, support your local, local charity shops and see what you can find. And the next one, oh, crash bang. The next one is from the Sampler and Antique Needlework Quarterly magazine and it's um, a reproduction sampler, a reproduction Welsh sampler and I will put across the bottom which issue number it's from uh, but it is Anne Davis, I've forgotten the year now, 1869 um, and this is stitched on 36 count summer khaki by Zweigart and it's stitched two over two so that's how I've got the kind of density of those threads by going two over two and the colours I picked my own colours because I didn't actually like their conversion that was in the in the magazine I tried to get the colours closer to the original which did have this really vibrant tomato red now if you would like to know the colour conversion for this it is on my Instagram in the comments um, Laura from Brenda and Laura asked what colors I was using and so if you go back onto my Instagram and find this uh, probably while it was still a work in progress you'll be able to see what colors I actually used and the reason that I liked this sampler uh, so much is because a it's a Welsh one B Capital Isaac isn't that very far away from me and see the 28th of July is my birthday so I really like that one and I did frame this myself this is from a, um, a frame that I got from Cotswold Art Supplies in Stow in the World so they have some frames that are already made up they're not standard size ones they're just ones that they make up I guess with left left over end bits of molding that they um, might not have enough to make you know lots of new frames from they just use up the bits that they've got um, or they're just popular and people like to go and have a, a browse for them but yeah I got that one from there no glass and 36 count I said so there we are okay let's do the advent next I want to do the advent and then I'll show all the charts together at the end so it's the 13th so let me see if I can actually grab the 13th as always, I'll show it to you first. Ooh. What is this? What is this? Schneckley. I've had Schneckley before. Yeah, I've had Schneckley before. It's a beautiful, sorry, my finger. It's a beautiful sort of greeny, goldy olive by Weeks Dye Works. So, yes, Schneckley is one of the colours in Eric Michael's 12 Days of Christmas Strawberries. So that will come in very handy because I've already done one of those. And that can go on there. And actually, just as I put that little um, calendar box up there, I realised I bought something else to show you. Um, I had a lot of comments about my earrings I was wearing in one of the videos a couple of days ago. I had a black top on. Other than that, I can't tell you. Um, and they are my bird earrings which I actually wore in my very very first floss tube. Now I made these at a workshop um, by a local silversmith called Rose. Uh, I think her name's Rose Wood and um, she does one day sort of silversmithing workshops and you can go along and you can make whatever you want or you can go along to a specific ring workshop or earring workshop. This was just a general silver silversmithing workshop and um, the reason I made these actually is because Rose herself wears this pair of earrings that I've always coveted and they're just a pair of birds, quite big birds and um, I decided to make my own. I didn't want to copy hers exactly and I actually wanted a mismatched, a mismatched pair so birds in two different sort of poses of flight. So um, on the workshop I made myself these. So this is the first one so it's like a, I guess it's a swallow or a swift, something like that. And that one is in, hangs straight down in flight. And then the other one, get it in the right place, is one with sort of 
the wings up in a second stage of, of flight. And they just sort of, actually it's probably going to be easier if I just put them in. Apologies if this freaks anyone out. I know some some people don't like to watch other people put earrings in, do they? If I can even put this one in. There we go. So that's kind of how they look with one like that and one like that. And I have to say they are my favourite earrings. I really do love them. Um, not just because I made them but they're my favourites. <laughs> okay, so freebie charts. Now, these two, I actually only discovered myself this morning. Um, April May June Stitcher, who has also got a floss tube, she's another British floss tuber, so um, I'll link her channel down below, had put on her either Facebook or Instagram about these, these freebies. Um, that are from Shepherd's Bush and it's not something that I'd seen before so we have to thank her for for these freebies I think she's actually stitching them um, but she was the one that brought them to my attention so there's two and what I will do is I will probably get the pictures of both of them and put them up here so that you can see them there's as I said there's two both of them have got the, the little Shepherd's Bush sheep on um, and one of them is a sort of lantern called Happy Christmas to All and the other one is a snowman and it's just called Happy Snowman. So I'll hold this one right back and if you can see there's the lantern with the birds, the little sheep and it says Happy Christmas up the top. And then this one is Happy Snowman with one of their... Um, lovely tall buildings, the big snowman and the sheep. So it is charted in Weeks Dye Works and DMC in both, yeah. The Happy Christmas doesn't have any DMC but the, the snowman does have one colour of um, DMC. But they're not very big at all. You have got... Oh, they haven't put the stitch count on, have they put the stitch count on? No, they haven't put the stitch count on, but they're, I mean, you can see they're really not very big. They're about 45 by, 35 by 45 and 55 by, oh, 33 by 41 is on that one. And this one doesn't say. But there we are, they're small. They're nice little small ones. If you're a fan of um, Shepherd's Bush, then go and grab those ones. Um, the other thing I was going to say is if you are a fan of Shepherd's Bush, Chris at the Nimble Thimble has got more Shepherd's Bush charts and kitted up stuff than I've ever seen in my life before. So if you have been having trouble finding the Shepherd's Bush things that you really like, go and check out the, the Nimble Thimble. And she also does the Jill Rental mounts or she can get the Jill Rental mounts that you, that you might want for them. Right, lastly, not lastly. I've got two finishes to show you. I forgot. It's because I put them down under something else. Too busy telling you about my finger. Right, these two are solely down to Debbie from Creatively Yours. She showed this one this morning and my little fingers couldn't work fast enough. So she showed this one. This one is called, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's the North Pole Milk and Cookie Company the North Pole Milk and Cookie Company so I had to grab that one absolutely love that one and it is by Spooky and Steve which is not something I'd been aware of before on Etsy but uh, they're in my favourites now I can tell you I could have bought about five or six different patterns from them so Milk and Cookie Company and the other one I bought which I just really liked and I don't think it will take very long to stitch up at all is called Meet Me Under the Mistletoe and I really like that. I thought that would make a lovely um, long pillow just sat on top of the mantelpiece. So that's probably what I'm going to do with it. Really simple, just a neutral um, hand dyed lid in, red and the green, perfect. 
my finishes. You won't be surprised about one of the finishes. You might be surprised about the other finish because I didn't know I was going to actually start it until I started it. So, this is the one that I showed you from the other day that I started the other day by Pinker and Pumpkin blog, blog Spot, and I still can't say that. I still can't say that. Pinker and Pumpkin Blog Spot. And so it's going to be my little Santa's pillow that I'm going to put candy canes in. So this piece is going to fit onto the bottom of this piece here as a little pocket. And I have, I'm hoping to finish this on Monday, but I have some fabric, some backing fabric actually on order. I've ordered some white fabric with some candy canes on. So um, hopefully I'll get that done in my finishing session on Monday. But if the fabric doesn't come, then I'll just wait because I really like that fabric. And then my other finish was actually one of the other freebies. Let's just fold this up on her on her site. That was just so cute. And it's the little Halloween cat. <laughs> he literally took a couple of hours to stitch up earlier, but he is so cute. Um, I changed the colour of his bow tie. His bow tie is green, so I've made it purple with just a little bit of darker shading purple around the actual knot. And his eyes were orange in the original and he's got green eyes for me. So he's so cute. I have got some little tiny tart pans um, that I picked up that I think he might go in. So hopefully I'll be able to show you a finish of him on Monday as well. So that really is me all done and dusted for today. So stay classy stitchers, see you tomorrow.